Hello everybody, and this is Coxrow, and in case you can't see, today I'll be doing Shadow of Colossus from the Ico and Shadow of Colossus collection. I figured I would do that first since the, the people who made the game had felt that Shadow of Colossus was the prequel, even though it's, you know, it's not legitimately um, the prequel to it. He wanted you to figure out the timeline for itself. It's been quite a while since I've played Shadow of Colossus, so I am a bit rusty. For those who've never played it, easier way to explain it is this game is more like a, a boss only type game. What I mean by that is every enemy you fight is technically a boss battle. And I guess that's what was so different about it compared to the other games that I've played. And even back then I enjoyed it. Taking a little while to load here. I'm going to tell you now, that horse is like the most faithful horse I've ever seen since like Epona in Legend of Zelda. That is one long, long ass bridge. Of course, we're going in with a new game.
I think I would go crazy just from hearing those horseshoes clip clop clip clop all day every day Those statues are pretty important. If I remember correctly, it has been quite a long time since I played this game. Damn shadow people. I think these are about the only normal enemies, if any, in this game. Though I've never played Ico, I heard that I've read that those shadowy figures or people they also play a part in Ico or Ico or however you want to pronounce it. saying is I'm not trusting no light that's talking to me
So you travel to the ends of the world with a corpse with you. Look, all I'm saying is, if you want somebody to defeat him, why don't you come down here out of your damn light and defeat him your damn self? It's always a situation where it feels like a trap. Okay, after that long intro, I finally get to take control of him. You. Trying to remember all the buttons. to me eventually. Oh, look like we on our way to go fight the first Colossi. Come my trusty steed. Okay. Controls being a lot better, but all right. I know tutorial. So you use the light to guide your way. Yeah. See if we go in the right direction.
The only thing that's, uh, you know what? I remember now. The only thing that's kind of a pain is how long you can hold on to things. <laughs> Sorry about this, everybody. It's, you know. I'm trying to get up, but he won't go up. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? How about we just make sure that everything's correct? It's like your best friend in this game. Without it, you'll just fall no matter what you do. Alright, get up. Get up. just to bring her back to life or at least bring her soul back <sighs> alright let's try this again These were the colossi that the light in the sky was talking about. So now if you didn't understand what I mean by boss battles, now you know what I mean. Could you please turn around? Yeah, okay. Boss battle began. Trying to find his weakness. Okay. Maybe I need to back up off him a little bit. Somewhere on his legs. stab these type of areas that's the weakness to them come 
Come on down, big fella. thing I talked about the damn stamina gauge that circle down there he'll let go if the gauge gets empty so that means I gotta be a bit faster okay no you don't want to get yourself crushed Get up on your damn belt. There we go. Oh, yeah, I remember now while he's walking, you can fall off. spot on you. Right there. Hold on. There we go. So, oh, come on. It's one of the annoying things. They will try to swing you off. Rest on your back just a little bit. Mm, surprise, motherfucker. There you go. Think about it is, is since he's the first Colossi, you know, this is just like a tutorial fight. Compared to the other Colossi, their marks will change multiple spots. He's like the baby of them all. So if you think he was big, you know, there are bigger ones. Faster. And, the, you know, not every battle is going to take place like this. I know it looked very simple right there. Well, no. I made it look more difficult than it is. Save. Takes a while to save data. Got one of them Highlander moments, like every time you take them down, something like that happens to you. And if you notice, one of the statues is no longer there. Which brings us one step closer to saving this mate in soul. There you 
you go. This Colossus ally, damn, what the hell we ever do to you? Just come out of nowhere stabbing up creatures. All because some light told you to. Alright, I will save the second Colossi battle for the next video. I know I had a rough start off there, but, you know, it'll get a little bit better once I'm back in full swing. Um, if you enjoyed watching, well... Get ready because part two, I'll be going inside the seaside cave to take down Colossi number two. In case you want to see what they look like or a little bit of what they could possibly look like. Each of these statues represent one of the bosses. Alright guys, till next time.